So I'm with Mark Cumberland. I'm in the uh, what we call the machine preparation zone here at Matsura. Yes, yeah, we call it the uh, the build area, if you like. This is where we prepare all the machines before they go out to the customers. Um, a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, with with. Uh, obviously in a very good year. Um, we are putting a lot of machines in. Uh, it's a little bit quieter than it was to be fair because we had a, a, a good throughput of machines this month that have all gone to their respective customers and we're now going on to the next batch of machines which as you can see is both Matsura and Maratas. Which is exactly what we're going to talk about. So now the Marata machine is all about unmanned running, automation. They're, they're designed around automation and Matsura have been supplying these for some time and having real success which is what we're going to be talking about with Mark over the next couple of minutes. Now here we have uh, the Marata machines, Mark. Just explain what they are and a bit about the brand. Uh, so we've been supporting Marata now for around about 15 years um, and we've seen various different products being developed. Uh, the latest of that has probably been the last five years where the MT range has been expanded into uh, machines that are more suited to typical subcontractors in this country. Okay, now if we just take, get the camera somewhere near, we can see an MT here. I know the lights aren't on, but the machine is sold. You've got twin turret, twin spindle, uh, gantry fed machine. How important is that gantry, Mark? It seems to be a big part of the Murat Tech. It, it does, yeah. I mean, there's basically two different variants. We have the MT100 and 200i, and we have the 100 and 200g. This is a, uh, a, a 100 and 200i type design machine. So, this has basically got the unloader. So, this would be a bar fed machine, either 65 or 80 mil. Um, but we then have the ability to unload a shaft up to 790 mil long. So if you look at this machine in uh, comparison to its competitors, uh, most machines are restricted by the type of or length of the parts catcher, maximum part length. In this, we can take 790 mil out of the machine as a finished turn component. Okay, so you're only unloading using this gantry, yes. you're not loading, so the bar feed is loading the machine and it the is. gantry can unload the part, but you can also eject it using a, a normal uh, conveyor style. Yeah, I mean, there, there is a way if you were doing shaft machining, the, through the modification to the end of the, uh, uh, the gantry, if you like, we could load shafts into the machine as well as unloading. So the, although they call it the eye for unloading, you can load with it, but it becomes more bespoke. Okay, now I've seen uh, these machines moving today, Mark. Unbelievably quick, aren't they? I know we're not, these ones are obviously sold going through their, their PDI, um, yep. but they move quickly. They are extremely accurate. They the process are, yes. stability is an important factor, isn't it? Because you can run unmanned, but if, if parts are coming off no good, then, oh, yeah, then it's no good. <laughs> you know, you've got to get everything right from the application's perspective. Yes, it's, it, it, with everything, it's process capability. It's not necessarily about having the best cycle time. Um, we, we know that from Matsura. Uh, with the type of parts and the type of customers that we have, Mirage are exactly the same. It's about having a capable process to be able to run through the night unmanned. Uh, another one sold? Yeah, I mean, here? we've got... Another MT100 again, that's, similar that's to what right. I just mentioned. Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, we've just seen three machines here that are all waiting to go out to customers. Um, customers, uh, this one's going down to the southwest of England. The one we were standing next to just now is going down to the New Forest. Um, there's another machine going into the northeast. So it's a, it's, a, it's a product range which is growing for us. It's continuously growing. Um, we're selling or we're stocking at any one time around about 10 machines here. But bear in mind, you know, we normally have about 30 to 40 Matsuras on our stock list. Uh, to have 10 Maratas which are available for quick delivery as well is, 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 is really good for us as well. So, so confident in the technology and, and the output and the productivity that these machines can give. There is currently a buy now, pay later offer on some of the machines. Um, you're doing that not just because you want them out the door, but because you know that once you've got one in there, there's a high likelihood like some of these, that's going to repeat. That's right, yes. It's, we, you know, we have the confidence with the, uh, with the Murata machine, same with Matsura, that they go in and they run. And the machines that we're offering with Buy Now, Pay Later, they're, a, they're probably a machine that you wouldn't necessarily think of if you were looking to buy a, a single spindle lathe, maybe put an operator in front of it, or maybe add a robot to it. You know, typically a robot in front of a lathe takes 45 seconds to load and unload. With the machine that we're looking at, the MD or the MS60, takes seven seconds to load and unload. So you, you know, multiply that by. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And obviously it's fully integrated. Okay, brilliant. Great story, great success here, Mark. Yeah. Uh, normally coming here hearing about how many of the, the blue machines you're selling, and I know they've everybody got, knows that they've now. They've got a blue door. Is, yeah, they've got a blue door. <laughs> um, the Murata machines, uh, talk to Matsura, currently doing a buy now, pay later scheme for the reasons that Mark said. Contact them via their website, matsura.co.uk.